once again, uh, welcome to today's game between Marlboro High School and Brockton High School. And now for your starting lineups. Number seven, junior captain Edson Dory. Number four, junior captain Matthew Francisco. At goal, senior captain Vitor. Number 23, senior Eddie Carrillas. Number 22, senior Ricalme Cunha. Number 9, senior Nestor Enriquez. Number 3, junior Matthew Chavis. Matthew Chavis. Number 5, Junior Philippe Cruz. Number 11, Junior Jordan Falco. Number 18, Junior Joey Van Roostek. And number 8, Sophomore Diogo, me, Diego De Almeida. Head coach of Marlboro High School, Kevin Hardy. Now for the starting lineups for Brock and High School. Number five, senior forward captain Louis Spinola. Number 22, senior midfielder captain Derek Rito. Number one, at goal, senior Vinicius Neves. Number two, senior defender Mario Dos Santos. Number four, Senior defender Junior Xavier. Number eight, junior midfielder Kevin Barboza. Number nine, junior forward Hamilton Xavier. Number 11, senior forward Danny Resende. Number 14, senior forward Giovanni Martin. Number 17, junior defender Sergio Da Silva. And number 20, senior midfielder, Velvet Silva. Head coach of Brockton High School, Camino Furtado. Now, if everybody could please rise and face the flag for the playing of our national anthem.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chris Pazil, and we welcome you to the telecast of the Marlboro Panthers against the Brockton High Boxers. So, so, just a beautiful day here in Brockton, Massachusetts. About an 80 degree day here, but with no no wind chill at all. As we as we have. Brockton contests it to go out of bounds. We are here at Marciano Stadium. That one will go Marlboro's way. Brockton comes into this game 4-1 and 0. Looking to extend their record against the 0 and 5 Marlboro Panthers. Marlboro a, a Division 1 school in in Central Massachusetts, Central Western Massachusetts. Looking for the first win of the season in Brockton. That was number 14, Giovanni Martins, on the header. A call going Brockton's way. Number four, Junior Xavier on the throw in. A foul on Giovanni Martins. Free kick coming up for number 11, Danny Resende. Belvic Silva, number 20. Sergio De Silva will pass it to the right side. Stolen by Brockton. Here's number 14, Giovanni Martins in the clear. That one's taken out. By Barbaro. Number nine, Vinilton Xavier. A corner kick coming up for Brockton. Resende will take it. And Cleared out by Marlboro. It'll go Brockton's way again. Yeah, Brockton now controlling the possession and the pace of the game now early on. It's number 20, Belvic Silva. That one is Luis Spinola will not get it. And it's going the Panthers' way.
Nice contest by Giovanni Martins. Forces forces the Marlboro player to be a little defensive with the ball on his feet. Is throw in for Brockton. Yeah, starting at goalkeeper for the Marlboro Panthers, number senior. Vitor Barros on the kick. A nice ball. And that's Luis Spinola. Hit strike it. Ooh, a bit too much. Going left. A nice start by Brockton. Luis Spinola, a little far left on the shot. That was, a, that was a bicycle kick pass by number four. Number four, that's Junior Xavier on the pass. Free kick for Marlboro. That's held in by Vinicius Neves of Brockton. Felipe Cruz was. Felipe Cruz's free kick was not good enough. Junior Xavier. Vanilton Xavier. Again, just a beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Brockton. As we pretty much, and here's, it's a good ball, no. As we're pretty much at the, the last day of summer here. In the East Coast. It's a high booming kick by Barros. Marlboro dribbles it out of bounds and no goal is blocked in the way. Ooh, wow. A foul is called. That was number eight, Kevin Barbosa going a, a bit airborne. Gets up, gets up quite fine. Free kick for Brockton. Spinola will take it. And that's kick is no good.
Another call against the Panthers. Another free kick. That kick by number eight, Kevin Barbosa, was no good. Here's Martins. Here's Xavier in the clear. Could he beat the goalkeeper? He will. He got the cross. In. It's there. It's there. It was a nice assist by Junior Xavier. A nice assist. Neves will take care of that. Yeah, that goal was by number five, Luis Spinola. A nice assist by Junior Xavier. Early start for Brockton, looking good in this one. Here's Martins on the an attack. He'll keep the possession. Sergio De Silva will take care of that one. Kevin Barbosa, he gets beef by the ball. Derek Brito. Danny Vizende. And over the back foul against Brockton. Again, that was Luis Spinola on the 28th minute with the goal of the first half. Number 12, Eric Brito was kicked in the shin in the last game in the last game against East Boston. A 2-1 victory for Brockton. He's injured in this one. He's obviously not playing this one. He'll, he'll recover soon. There's Marlboro. Neves with a nice save. Just a picture perfect save by Neves. Here's Marlboro on another attack. And the Silva will shield the defender.
Neves with another hold there. That was a nice kick by Neves, but Martins could not handle it. Number 14. Another throw in for Marlboro. Number three, Matthew Chavez. Steps over the line. Brockton will retain the possession again. Again, I'm Christopher Bazil doing this game solo. Sergio De Silva with the free kick. Barton has looked impressive in the season early on. Let's see if they can keep it going. Their only loss was to Zavarian, to the Zavarian Catholic High School out of Boston. And it looks like we have an injured Panther on the field. Injury timeout. Number five, Felipe Cruz will check in for the for the wounded Panther. We are back in play. Belvic Silva. Dini Vezende to Martins. Could he get there? Could he get there? Yes, he can. Excuse me, Kevin Barbosa. Marba will take it. A foul against Giovanni Martins. Number three, Matthew Chavez took the hit. Yeah, we have Brockton in the black jerseys and Marlboro in white. Dark Brito, a little bit of a wrestle here. Dark Brito will win that. Will win that call. Here's Brockton the other way. Danny Resende dribbling fast. Nice defensive play by Matthew Chavez. Yeah. 
That one's stolen by Sergio Da Silva. Quick play on the field right now. Neves, could he get there? Yes, he will. Nice ball by Car Barbosa. That one was not able to be connected. A foul against the Panthers. Nice ball, but oh, Benilton Xavier, I believe, was Benilton Xavier, I believe, was pushed. He was frustrated about the situation, he walks away. Freshman Eric Corbin checks into the game for Marlboro as Vanilton Xavier just upset of just what happened. A little bit of a little bit of frustration on the field. The referee tried to console it. We have 18 minutes to play in the first half. A 1-0 lead for Brockton, playing playing pretty well in this one. And, and Marlboro, Marlboro has had a, a few of their chances as well. Nice block by Xavier. Oh, Xavier and another, and another tumble with Marlboro. And let's see who gets the who. Let's see who wins this foul. We have an injured boxer on the ground.
Injury timeout on the play, on the field. Oh, that's the Milton Xavier. It's good to see he gets on. It's good to see he gets up under his own power. He's been a lot of these games. I a lot of these blocking games. I do. He just seems to get number six Christian Santos and number seven Lucas Fernandez check in for Xavier. A lot of these games I do, but Xavier just seems to be on the wrong, wrong end. A little unfortunate. He'll, he'll have a seat. He believes he was shoved. Ooh. Christian Santos and Lucas Fernandez checking the game. The the midfielder and striker for Brockton's. And we are back to play with about 16 minutes left in the first half. Yeah, Luis Spinola scored in the 28th minute of the first half, assisted by Benilton Xavier. Getting some treatment right now. And Marlboro's trying to, trying to get their first goal of the afternoon here in Brockton. Still zero on the board for them. Handball, Brockton's way. The Smartboro team has been playing Brockton pretty well so far, only allowing one goal with about 14 minutes to play in the first half. Pretty, pretty talented squad, playing better, playing far better than their 0-5 record. Danny Resende will take care of it on the left side. Ooh, nice move by the Resende. Martins. Kevin Barbosa. Barbosa. Continues to dribble. The cross is no good. Ooh, trip. Marlboro will retain possession. Belvic Silva on the header. A nice pass by Marlboro. Sergio Silva tried to get there. Across. And Marlboro will. Belvic Silva will boot that one out. Back to Marlboro. Giovanni Martin steals no good. Here's Matthew Chavez. Mm -hmm. 
Vinny Resende. Barbosa. Silva. Nice passing by Brockton in this one, in this game. Stolen by Marlboro. Junior Xavier to, to the Silva. To Jada Fernandez, number six. No, excuse me, number six, Christian Santos. Sergio da Silva. Kevin Barbosa, number eight on the dribble. Uh, open pass. Nice save by Vitor Barros. Got there just in time. Good opportunity for Brockton right there. Danny Resende, number 11. Ooh, falls. Chippy play by both teams so far in this one. More on the Mar Chippy play more on the Marlboro Panther side. Trying to keep up with Brockton a bit. Neves will take care of this one. Christian Santos on the header, number six. There's Lucas Fernandez, his first touch of the game. Gets tripped up again, wow. Nice pass to Brockton, right side of the field. Nope. No, it will be a goal kick. <laughs> Number eight, Kevin Barbosa, he stole it. Back to the goalkeeper, Barros. Nine minutes to play in the first half. One nil lead for Brockton. Number four, Christian Santos. Number 17, Sergio Da Silva. Back to Santos. Belvic Silva will, will be aggressive with this one, and Giovanni Martins, he'll get there. Nice defensive play by Marlboro. Another corner coming up for the boxers. Number 11, Danny Resende will take it. One back for Brockton, and that's number seven, Sergio Da Silva. And, and uh, Zende and booted out by the Panthers. Again, I'm Christopher Brazil doing this game solo. Beautiful day here in Marciano Stadium.
The Panthers dribbled it out of the play. Neves will get the ball again. Great passing today by Brockton. As Brockton loses possession. We have the boxers in black and, and the Panthers in white. Vitor Barros will get there. Two, Derek Brito checks back into the game. Number 18, Joey Buskirk, Buskirk gets in the game. Buskirk. <laughs> Lucas Fernandez bumped a bit. Oh, that one's going the Panthers' way. I kind of. I disagree with that call from what I saw. A booming kick. Offsides on the Panthers. The girls' varsity squad got a win yesterday against N City rival Cardinal Spellman. Cardinal Spellman, the the private school here in Brockton. The Brockton High girls defeated them yesterday, one one zero. The Brockton High girls advanced a two and two and one on the season early in the season. Ooh, and little a lot of a lot of a lot of calls in this one. Both teams, both teams really fighting for possession of the ball. They're hungry for the possession of the ball. Both of these teams. Competitive play here. About three, about three forty to go in the first half. By both squads. Number 22, Derek Brito, will get this throw in. Number nine, Nestor Enriquez checks in from Marlboro. Hey, 
Martins with a nice set of moves there. Now Derek Brito, pass intercepted. Ooh. Again, Marlboro playing a lot better than the record indicates. Foul against Brockton. That's that foul was against Belvic Silva. Two minutes to play here in the first half. That was, that was number four, Matthew Francisco on the free kick. He wasn't, it was a nice kick, but not, not to the right player. Throw in for the Panthers. <laughs> Lucas Fernandez, no. Lucas Fernandez with a different hairstyle, with a, a blonde, sort of an afro, curly hairstyle. Looks pretty good on him. Oh. That, that will go boxer's way, that little foul. And that is the end of the first half here in Marciano Stadium. The Brockton Boxers with a 1-0 lead so far. Both of these teams, both of these teams just playing pretty equal. Just a lot of fouls on the play. A lot of chippy play. And both of these teams really came came here and came here and gave it gave it their all. Luis Spinola scored in the 28th minute, assisted by Vinilton Xavier. Vinicius Neves, goalkeeper for Brockton, has Played superb in this one. A couple of saves for him. And we will be back here at Marciano Stadium. Both of these teams playing well. How to continue the talk with your friend about their mental health after you ask about how they were feeling. Put down that phone. Do it. Nobody's texting you. Phone down. Good. Now it's time to listen. If they're not ready to talk yet, check back in later. I'm always here if you want to talk, okay? That was great. Find out how you can help a friend with their mental health at SeizeTheAwkward.org. Awkward. Hey guys, what's up? It's Liza Koshy, and today I'm going to tell you a little story about my anxiety. So I turned 20. Um, I had been moved out to L.A. I was doing different stuff out here and having fun and just being myself until anxiety hit me like a brick. <laughs> Mine specifically is social anxiety, which is ironic for the job that I have as a social influencer. <laughs> talking to a camera was something that always made me feel comfortable. Um, talking to a camera right now is much better than me talking to a person because I'm a socially anxious person. So dealing with my anxiety was um, hard and I'm still dealing with it, but it's not something that can't be dealt with. I have a friend who opened up to me about his OCD and it was something that was very tough for him to open up about because he had never opened up to anybody about it before. And I completely related to that because I had been holding in my feelings about my anxiety for an entire year. It just started this free flow of conversation between both of us about my anxiety, about his OCD, about these two things that we didn't know about each other. We thought we knew each other so well, but it wasn't until we opened up about our mental health that we really, really connected even more. Now we actually have a code name whenever I'm feeling anxious or whenever he's having, you know, his thoughts. It's called Tiffany, but it's just like, hey, Tiffany's here. She's 
freaking here, man. It feels good to be able to label something and, and, and put it away in your brain rather than let it become your entire brain in itself. Everybody has some sort of mental health to take care of. It is a part of your health. It's something that you live with and that's something that you learn to deal with by opening up to people about it. It allowed me to understand myself more as a person, allowed me to accept that it's a part of me rather than pushing it off and saying, no, this isn't me, this isn't me. It's a part of me and it's something that I'll always live with and deal with, but it doesn't define me. I'm Joel Gamron, national chef of Sur La Table and host of Scraps, a cooking show that tackles food waste. And I just whipped up the most amazing Thanksgiving and I have just the right amount of pumpkin pie just the perfect amount of turkey to rock out the most amazing leftover pumpkin pie and turkey curry. So I've got a big Dutch oven here. I'm gonna grab just some good old fashioned canola oil, baby. These are mustard seeds. This is what mustard's made out of. It's not just in that little jar. So I've got some onions, I've got some chili and garlic. And when you're cooking Indian food, these are mainly the three ingredients you gotta have. And again, one pot. And what I love about the guesstimator, I knew exactly from the start how much leftovers I was gonna have. Things are starting to kind of get sticky and brown and really, really, really fragrant. And you should be on high heat this whole time. This is quick cooking. Again, we wanna get you out of the kitchen and enjoying food with all your friends and fam. Now we've got four spices here. If you only have three of these four, you can still rock this out, I promise you. You've got garam masala, coriander, cumin, and turmeric. Garam masala might be the tough one, but it's worth it to go find that. Into the hot oil, into those beautiful onions, garlic, and chili. It's gonna to toast up and your whole house is going to transform. Pumpkin pie filling in. Oh, now it's starting to look like a curry, baby. This looks so, so good. Now every curry needs a little bit of sweetness, and since it's fall, we're going maple. Is it traditional? No. Is it bomb? Yeah. A couple of cans of coconut milk. And this is gonna bring some richness, but at the same time, a little lightness. So I've got some cilantro, and if you know me, again, I hate wasting everything. So we're gonna use the stems in the curry and the leaves on top. Those turkey flavors we've had, we're kind of tired of. So to add this to this beautiful kind of foreign deal is really gonna knock people off their socks. Let's check this out, it's been about 10 minutes. Oh, I mean, it's, it's heaven. I'm just gonna pull some out. You can see the mustard seeds, the chili, all that pull apart, beautiful delicate turkey. That leftover pie crust we threw into the oven and it got kind of crispy. All right, let's try this out. Mm. It, it's so different than everything that you had the night before. It's everything I want. It's comforting. I absolutely adore this dish. And if you want this recipe and even more food waste tips, and of course, the guesstimator, head over to savethefood.com. I'll see you there. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Christopher Brazil doing this game. 1-0 lead for the Brockton Boxers in black over the Marlboro Panthers. And we are underway. The kickoff is good. Number two, Mario DeSantos is in the game for the second half. We got second half action from Marciano Stadium in Brockton, Massachusetts. Just the perfect day for soccer right now. Lucas Fernandez, midfield, controls it. Lucas Fernandez with the long pass. Could he handle it? And wow, he scores. Wow. Lucas Fernandez scores early in the second half in the 39th minute. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lucas Fernandez scores in the 39th minute of the second half. It was a nice, it was a nice long ball assist by the Brockton secondary that got it to the speedy Fernandez. It's now it's now it's more of a comfortable 2-0 lead for, for Brockton. And let's see what Marlboro has to offer. A throw in going Brockton's way. Uh, another dead ball. <laughs> Fernandez on the run again. Vitor Barros will boot that away. Christian Santos. Mario De Santos. Number two. Number 17. Sergio De Silva. Nice crossover move. Number 20. Belvic Silva. Brockton controlling the passing. That'll be a corner for Brockton. The third corner of the game for Brockton. Derek Brito, number 22, will take it. Senior midfielder. Let's see, let's see if Brockton could get that third one. No, no good, and that'll be a third one going the Panthers' way. Mario De Santos. Number six, Eric Corbin checks into the game. And here's number nine, Vanessa and Xavier for Brockton. Back in the game from his injury. Vanessa and Xavier early. Xavier. Silva on the missed header. A nice strike. Strike was no good. Brockton with four shots on goal in this one. Two of them and two goals. Vitor Barros on the free goal kick. Felipe Cruz of Marlboro. Sergio Da Silva and his number seven, Edson. Nice save by Neves. His third save of the game. Edson Dorian with the shot on goal. And another foul on the play. So let's see. Let's take, a, let's take a look at what happened. 
with the replay. That's in Dorian and Sergio Da Silva tangled up. Both get up, walking fine. Lucas Fernandez, Christian Santos to Kevin Barbosa. Santos, Belvic Silva. A nice long ball to Villanova to Xavier. Xavier, can he control it? No. Well defended by Marlboro. Both of, both of them battling for possession. Nice defensive stop for Marlboro. Fernandez wasn't able to get there. 2 0 lead for Brockton. About 30 minutes to go in the second half in this one. Sergio da Silva. And I believe, I, be, I believe it was a handball against Essen Dorian, number seven of Marlboro. Nice shield by De Silva right there. Brockton ball. And Lucas Fernandez, no good. Ooh. A downed Panther. Number two, Brandon Shepard will take this free kick. Brandon Shepard will get will get will, will get some action. Hey, Lucas Fernandez, could you get there?
And his his Edson Dorian's strike was no good. Far right. Two nil lead for Brockton. It was twenty nine minutes to play. Vanilton Xavier. Neves will take care of that one. And Marlboro sort of stepped up their game a bit now. Panthers on the free kick. Nice header by Xavier to get that one out. Luis Spinola. Another, wow. Free kick coming from Marlboro. Mario DeSantos was out of play. A hold against Brockton. <laughs> Another free kick for Marlboro. There should be a lot of stoppage time to play in this one. And here's a, a cross by Marlboro. That one is no good. Nevis kind of tweaked that goal kick there as number eight, Diego Almeida. Number, excuse me, number 18, Joey Van Buskirk will win the possession there.
Marlboro in this playing this game at 0-5, playing a lot better than their record shows. And Brockton at 4-1. 2-0 no lead here, Marciano City for the for the boxers in black. A long ball. Long ball to Luis Spinola to the left side. Spinola. Spinola. Xavier. And we have Brockton was not happy with what they just saw there. Number 11, Jordan Falco checks into the game for Marlboro. Lucas Fernandez, stolen. Kevin Barbosa. Ooh. That shot on goal was no good. It was a good attempt, though. A nice chip shot by Barbosa. Number 14, Giovanni Martin checks into the game. <laughs> Captain Luis Spinola checks out. Neves to the Silva. Belvic Silva. Ooh, a trip. Wow.
Another free kick for Marlboro. Ooh, the header was no good. A nice aggressive attempt by Marlboro. Time out by Marlboro. Water break. Water break by both teams. Water break for both teams with about 19 minutes to play. Back in action here. 2 0 lead for Brockton. Lucas Fernandez will take care of it in the clear. Oh, handball by Xavier. Senior forward Benny Ribeiro checks into the game for Lucas Fernandez. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ooh, here's the opportunity for Marlboro. He missed it. Wow. He missed it. What a blooper. Wow. What a what a blooper it was looked like the missed opportunity for Marlboro. Mario De Santos. Could have been a 2-1 game for the Panthers. And now they're still looking at zero. As Brockton's passing up the possession right now. Kevin Barbosa. Nice slide tackle there by, by the Panthers. Nice passing by Marlboro on the other side. A foul against Marlboro. And it looks like a little discussion by the Marlboro player and the referee. Foul against Marlboro. A Marlboro sub is in the game. Number two, Mario DeSantos on the free kick. Another foul against Marlboro. Well, both of these teams are just at each other today. Ooh, a deflection. And here's Xavier, Villanilson Xavier. Oh, 
Corner coming up for Brockton. About 11.50 to play here, Marciano Stadium. Brockton looking for the third goal right now. Had it out by the Panthers. Brockton High football lost last night against Natick High, 35-25 to here in Marciano Stadium. Yeah, the Brockton High boxers are 1-2 and two to start the year. The football team, varsity football team. Giovanni Martins. Elvic Silva, nice set of moves. That one was kicked away by Belvic Silva. Number 12, Mateus Fangundes checks into the game, senior. Marber has been Marber has dominated the possession more in the second half in this one. Just haven't just haven't had as much shots on goal opportunities. Nice ball to Mario DeSantos. Ooh. Wow. The catch by Vitor Barros for Marlboro. Like, when you, like, you're good, I was like, yeah. Dude, dude, dude. 
Ooh, nice defensive body play by and, and, and oh, actually, Benny Ribeiro. No, excuse me, that was Giovanni Martins. It was a nice strike by Martins, just far left. Perfect shot, but just far left. Edson Dorian, that pass was intercepted. Edson Dorian with a shot on goal earlier today. Bit of a, a bit of a sloppy game here in Marciano Stadium between these two squads. Just not much, not very clean physical play. A bit, a bit theatrics and a bit real, and, a, and some of them were real falls. A nice ball by De Silva. Martins, can he get there? Another opportunity for Martins. No. <laughs> Defensive back Sergio De Silva had a lot of touches in this game. A lot. Number 17. Here's a free goal kick. By. Here's a goal kick for Marlboro. Neves. About five minutes to play in this one in the second half. It's been a It's been a, a bit of an even game if you look at it on the field, but the score says Brockton 2 and the Panthers 0. A long ball to Giovanni Martins. It's on sides. Across was no good. Nicely defended by Marlboro. A save by Vitor Barros. Another Brockton foul. Just so many fouls in this one. So many. Kind of, kind of lost count. Again, I am Christopher Brazil doing this game solo. A nice ball in. That header was no good. Neves will get a goal kick on that one. Thank you. 
substitution in the 21 button who keeps up. The 24 Brandon Lowe, the 25 Matthew. Another throw in for the Panthers. Free kick for the Panthers right now in Brockton territory. Ooh, too much there. That one's near the Brockton High parking lot. <laughs> A 2-0 win for the Brockton High Boxers here in Marciano Stadium. Luis Spinola scored in the 28th minute of the first half and Lucas Fernandez scored in the 39th minute of the second half. Both of these teams sort of both of these teams both of these teams sort of had an equal fair amount of possession of the game. Marlboro really dominated the possession arrow in the second half. They had a lot of chances. Brockton played a bit more defensive. Sergio De Silva, a lot of touches. Vinicius Neves had a clean sheet. Great game for him today. No mistakes for him. And Brockton advances to 5 and 1 as Marlboro falls to 0 and 6 and 0. It was great effort by these two teams. And all in all, I am Christopher Brazil signing off. Thank you. Oh, so long for Marciano City.